What's up, Pisces? Welcome to Black Madonna HP. How are you guys doing? I hope everyone is doing wonderful, enjoying this beautiful Monday. Either way, Pisces, let's go ahead and get some general readings for you. Kind of see what's going on with your general energy. And then we'll go ahead and hop into some tarot. So, beloved, what's the message you have for my Piscerians, the kings and queens of love? What's going on with the Pisces, please? What messages do you have for Pisces? Alrighty, something specific I see. Harp, great happiness. So, um... Pisces, whatever moves you've been making lately, it seems like it's leading you to some um, great happiness. There could be um, someone that is either in your life or coming to your life that um, sees your worth, sees your value and want to make you happy. This could be um, in business. This can be in a relationship. Um, you know, if you get a, a raise or something like that or, or uh, someone reaches out to you, like it's going to bring you a lot of joy. But it seems like you're dealing with someone who's extremely stubborn and unwilling to change so if you're dealing with a mule you're basically dealing with a donkey a jackass a, um <laughs> a person that just needs to be kicked to the curb so beware of that energy around you pisces let's see what else time to get out of a situation yeah with this pale energy the love is gone and after the love is gone it's just like going through the motions there's no trust there's no respect there's no morality left in the situation it's a lot of arguing and fighting and it's just not coming to anything let's see shield oh shit there's someone around you you need to defend yourself from pisces people places Maybe you need to even put a shield around your things, especially like your car, your home, stuff like that. Um, some people have guns for this very reason, but um, something around you is requiring you to shield yourself. And then you have dog close up, a pleasure with a close friend. It, this could be the very person you need to um, shield yourself from. Maybe this person um, smiles in your face, but behind that smile, they're a wolf. Okay, but it's like you got either a new home coming in, new attitude, something is coming in that you're cleaning up. Either you're moving or you're getting ready to move. Okay, this could also be um, um, cleaning your spiritual house or something like that, Pisces. But let's see what's up. Let's see what's at the bottom of the deck for P Pisces. Affairs with your family, a tree. Be aware, Pisces, of the branches and the um, sticks. People that fall in and out of your life and they come back in and out like different seasons or whatnot. Let those people just, I don't know, keep them at arm's length. You know, everyone's not meant to stay in your life forever. Friends, family, whoever it is. But let's go ahead and jump into this tarot. Today I'm going to use these moonologies and see what energies we can get out for, for you Pisces. Beloved, what's going on with the Piscerians? What does Pisces need to know? I'm here and put your best foot forward. So maybe you put your best foot forward on a project, a relationship, or some type of venture that you were doing, Pisces. Um, keep putting your best foot forward. It's going to lead you into success, beloved. Alrighty. So at the center of the reading, we have a fairy climax approaches. So something is going on, something that's been building up tension, something you've been working on, some type of um, relationship, project, Um I'm getting a, a lot of like project energy with that, but don't let your pride get in the way. Sometimes we can become prideful before it's time. Um, emotions are running high. This is definitely like a Piscean card. If you ask me with the emotions, with the water sign energy. So the emotions are running high for something in the recent past. Look at the bigger picture crown in the reading the answers you need are coming that is beautiful energy because maybe there's something you've been questioning something you don't know about and a new start is coming it's being reiterated with the new home new attitude and a new start so there's something new coming in for you pisces so congratulations pisces but um let's go ahead and get into this tarot see what's up for you pisces so the emotions are running high 
I feel like um, this might have something to do with a relationship because why would your emotions run high on something like on the job or something like that? That's more business etiquette. But let's see what's up. Beloved, what's going on with the Piscerians, please? Why are their emotions running high? What's this energy about, please? What's this energy about, please? Thank you. All righty. So, um, there's something that you were left out of, something that you wanted to be involved in, but that you feel like you were kind of left out of. Um, rejection is God's divine protection is what I'm hearing. So you were protected from something, Pisces. But let's see what's up. Emotions are running high. The Six of Wands and the Knight of Cups. You know what's interesting, Pisces? These are not your emotions. These are emotions of other people that um that see you either coming up or doing your thing or getting your accolades or whatever. They're kind of jealous, but I do see that you are in this energy of um shielding yourself, defending yourself like the shield energy. Look at what she has on. She's armored up around all those people. She's protecting her heart, she's protecting her spirit. Like she should have something to protect her head. That's why some women wear scarves to protect their head, protect their energy. Sometimes even um, with the weaves and stuff we wear on our head, it protects us from different energies entering into our um, bodies. So, yeah, but yeah, this is other people emotions that's running high. This could be a friend, this, this, this dog close up. You may need to pay attention to this person. This could be the person that's down for you, but I see Pisces and your recent, um, in your recent readings, there's been a lot of people around you that didn't have your best interests. These people are clapping, but it's like you you know and you understand now that you have to protect yourself, defend yourself from these people. But I see that's what you're doing. You're not open being the king and queen of love to these people. You kind of closed off in like a um, queen of sword, king of sword type energy. You're doing using more logic than just opening your heart to everybody. So let's see what's up. So look at the bigger picture, the emperor and the four of cups. Now in this emperor energy, this emperor got a big ass plan. So Pisces, this could be you. This could be someone you work with. This could be a, a person or something like that. But this person has definitely looked at the bigger picture. Um, they actually wrote down the vision and made it plain so that their blessing could come in. But I see... Whoever this is, Pisces, they've been working on more than just, um, I mean, they've been looking at more than just the bigger picture. They've been painting the fucking picture, like literally knowing what they want, knowing what they have to do to go after it. This can also be someone that has a plan I'm hearing against you. Pisces so you may need to be careful as well especially it seems like with these fairies I'm not really into the fairies each his own but I, I because they're white I'm gonna say that I guess they're higher level beings so they may be trying to um, protect you and pull you out of different situations go with the flow don't just um don't just um be around people places or things that's not meant for you listen to your intuition listen to your um your inklings that you have. You ever had that type of inkling? It says, you know, stop right here or something or make a right. And you end up avoiding some type of disaster, or collision or something like that. For example, I remember when the bridge collapsed and whatnot. I remember I was going, I was going to go and sell my books back to um school or whatnot. But something told me don't go that day, so I didn't end up going. Didn't end up going, and especially I would have probably took that freeway to um get there. But um, when that bridge collapsed, shh, thank God I wasn't on it. You know, that's that inkling, that intuition. You know, when you're told to do something, you don't know quite why. Follow your your first mind. Oh shit! What is this? So the will of fortune. In the Page of Cups, a fairy climax approaches. So something is turning in your favor, I feel like. It's something you've been praying for, been meditating on. Something that you've been waiting to come into fruition that has been taking a while. But I see it's finally coming in. This could be some type of... um 
um, raise, promotion, job offer, something like that. But this is this person, this page of cups, it's like someone that's coming to give you something, some good news, some um, some good fortune, something like that. This person has something to give you that's going to um, close out whatever this cycle is that's been going on, whatever you've been waiting for. It looks like this is kind of what's coming in. And be careful what offers, um, Pisces, because offers can come in two ways. Like, for example, have you ever been in a situation, Pisces? And you know, you know, definitely. Say, for example, just general, uh, generalize. You're going in a store. You're going to buy, let's say, some lotion or something like that, which is what I need right now. But anyways, let's say you're going in the store, you buy some lotion or something. You got a plan on just buying a lotion. Uh, and then suddenly there's like a new brand, a new kind, a new fragrance. And now you're like, I usually go for this one. But, you know, this one might be actually good. But then you're going back and forth because you don't know if it's going to do the same to your body or if your body's going to feel the same. Or And now you're sitting there and you're kind of indecisive on which one to choose. I use that analogy just to say with the heavens and the um and, 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 and hell being here. This offer may come in different, different um energies. It may come in the form of two. You can have an offer, let's say that you're looking to get a um, promotion or something, or you've been waiting to hear news of a promotion, but then you get news from a whole another company that's offering you a job. Now it's like, which one do I choose? This one pays the same. This one. Um, pays, uh, you know, has more benefits, but which one do I choose? Both offers look good. Like they seem equal, but they're not. It's something hidden. And that's where discernment comes in. But, um, yeah, be careful with whatever this news is, whatever this offer is that's coming in to you. Okay. Don't let pride get in your way. The page of swords and the page of pentacles so there's definitely some news coming in and it's definitely on two different ends of the spectrum is what i'm getting on one end on one end it's like you're gonna need to do your research about something before um you accept the offer on the other hand you're gonna need to know that the the finances aren't what you think or or um the offer isn't what you think like it's something more to it because both energies are showing up as pages they're not showing up as big offers or something like that and this is also a page so it's a lot of page energy so these are small um inklings that you may be receiving um small offers small letters um something like that pisces but be very, very careful in your choosing. This is why the card is saying don't let pride get in your way. Because your pride might be like, well, I'm going to go for the one with more money. But the more money might require more hours. It might require um, you to stay, like do more work at home. or It's, it's a, it's a catch-22 is what I'm getting, Pisces. But let's see. The answers you need are coming. The Ace of Wands and the Six of Pentacles. Pisces, don't be so open. I see you constantly, like right now in this in this moment, you you have your heart open to something and whatnot. Don't be so open at this time, because whatever this truth is that you need to know. I mean, I feel like because that shield is there, you need to defend yourself. You need to protect yourself. Don't be so open. Whatever this um this new thing is coming in that's keep re being reiterating in this reading, I feel like it's gonna be bring you a lot of finance, um, security. It's gonna bring you a lot of happiness, a lot of joy. Because I think um, the reading started off with great happiness, but there's something you need to close your your heart to because you're just wide open in these energies Pisces and you don't have all the information you need to be this open and just to let this thing come in guard your energy is what I'm getting all right what else is Pisces you know new start is coming 
Oh shit, the Ten of Wands and the Eight of Swords. See, this is the exact energy I'm talking about. This is coming from being so open to whatever this thing is, okay? I don't believe you know all the different aspects of it. And who could ever know all the different aspects of life? But this particular thing, you're too open, too vulnerable. And it's going to cause this energy, the Ten of Wands and the Eight of Swords. Like, um... Like whatever this thing is, Pisces, it gets you. And I'm I'm sorry, I keep using this analogy in my reading, but in the sunken place, because people literally sometimes um, go into these sunken places in their life because they weren't paying attention to um, different red flags and details and whatnot. I really don't like that energy of you being so open now because you were closed off to a lot of people, places and things, but something has you vulnerable right now. Something has your nose wide open, Pisces. Like after what you've been through, I don't think you should be that open. You know, because it's like beloved is trying to save you from something, you know, and this is something that's been weighing heavy on you. Like guard your heart, guard your energy, Pisces. Don't be so open. I don't care who it is or what it looks like. Guard your heart above all things. That's what I keep getting. Okay. Especially with this energy. This could be an energy that's also going to affect your finances. You're going to be left out of something. What else does Pisces need to know? What else does Pisces need to know? Yeah, and that this is why they're saying in the recent past, look at the bigger picture. Because you obviously haven't looked to, took the time out to look at this bigger picture but someone has pisces someone has been very open to looking at the bigger picture and they've mapped it all out and they may have used some people against you that were pawns and i'm sorry to call these pages pawn but when you're dealing with the emperor you know pages queens kings anybody could be used as a pawn but i feel like they got pawns that they use it's like a some type of scheme or something going on i feel like you need to protect yourself pisces i don't know what this energy is that beloved is bringing to the surface but there's something you're way too open to that you don't need to be pisces everything that glitters not gold and i think that's the lesson here everything that glitter is not gold Okay, because not only that, you got someone who's extremely stubborn and unwilling to change. Who's more stubborn and unwilling to change than an emperor? Okay, and then you have this pleasure with a close friend. Be careful about these friends. This page is also a friend. Be careful. Don't let your pride get in the way. Like, I got this. No, she just tripping. Whatever. No, be careful. What else does Pisces need to know about this situation, please? What else? What else does Pisces need to know? This person don't like you. This emperor, the queen of swords is coming out, came out in reverse. This is a bitch, a scammer, a schemer. Like, this person wears a face for you. But they're going to betray the fuck out of you, okay? They really are. They've been studying your ass, Pisces. They come off like this, like they love you, they got love for you and whatnot, but I feel like you need to use your intuition to know that something about this situation is not right, okay? It's like, it's like Beloved has been trying to bring you messages. I'm not sure if you've been receiving them or what, but it's some type of message that Beloved has been trying to get to you or some type of message coming in that you need to be... um aware of Pisces what else does Pisces need to know please what else oh you have damn how can I you have the eight of swords you the queen of cups and el diablo this is something i swear it seemed like you've been worried about this shit like you know something about it like it's gonna come and it's gonna look like you know it's a great offer but i'm telling you it's like people been doing some some type of work behind your back 
like planning shit. It's still that same energy. Like you still got um, vultures around you, Pisces. And you, it's like you know it. Like your intuition been telling you this, hands down. Like there's some people around you you absolutely cannot trust. I don't care how they come at, dressed as a sheep. You know they're ravenous wolves. Honestly, what else does Pisces need to know, please? What else? Damn, they trying to get you alone, Pisces. Oh my goodness. They trying to get you alone, beloved. That's their plot. That's their... Oh my goodness. Damn. They're trying to get you alone. To betray you or do some shit to you when you least suspect it, Pisces. When you're most vulnerable. I'm telling you, Pisces. You being so open right now is not good for you. Because look at this energy. The um, Ten of Wands and the Eight of Swords. Like... Wow. Mm -mm. Something ain't right. Those people are still in your energy. The warning is still there about the people that surround you. And uh, like they're watching you, Pisces. They're watching you. They're waiting, plotting. Here's the Nine of Pentacles, the, the Hermit, the Four of Swords, waiting to your most and your vulnerable points. Okay, with this Ten of Swords. I'm sorry, this is the Queen of Pentacles. But yeah, waiting till you're at your vulnerable point may even seduce or entice you with some type of, it's like an offer that's going to be the plot, the scheme. It's going to be some type of offer in the way that they get, try to get you, Pisces. It's going to be through an offer. And it may be an offer through a, a friend that's close to you. Be careful. Alrighty, so, so let me get, uh, let me get another message close out this reading for Pisces, please. I get another message. Close out this reading for Pisces. Ooh. Ooh, Pisces. See, that's what I'm talking about with my kings and queens of love. I'm personal about Pisces. Shit. They saying, listen. Quiet your mind, beloved, and listen to our gentle reassurance that everything has been taken care of. Stay in quiet and receptive state without worrying about the exact nature of your desires manifestations. A quiet mind and body hears us quickly and clearly. This is our request. Listen. You have to listen so you get those um, inklings and those promptings, Pisces. You won't get them if you're busy and it's a, it, it's a lot of noise. Like if you ever, um, let's say... You meditate at home. But let's say, for example, you go do yoga or something. And when you come from yoga and that meditative state and that clearing of energy, you do all that type of work. And then you go outside. You understand exactly how loud the world is. Like the world is super loud. How can you listen? I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hit that like and subscribe button. And I'll see you next time.